Hi and welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to firmware your Viper Mini to hopefully adjust the liftoff distance because you've been following my reviews and some of my other firmwares for this Viper Mini you'll know it's always had quite a high liftoff distance there's been a few versions of firmware released and none of them have been 100% successful so today hopefully we can do that Razer right here on Reddit has posted some additional firmware that Razer's released now it looks to be more official the ones were like a beta version so today we're going to give it a test we've got some DVDs so let's see if this firmware is any different. Put a link in the description for this page here on Reddit. This is where the URLs are. Razer Viper Mini here for the one that you want. So if you open that link up, you'll get prompted to download the file. I've already got it, so I'm going to discard that. I run the exe for the firmware update. You'll get prompted here. Click Next. Now it's going to tell you to connect the mouse to your PC, which mine is already. It tells you the current device version. Mine's on 1.03.00 from the last firmware that we tried. And this latest one is 1.03.02. Click update. One of the things to note here is you can't go back in firmware versions. So if you want to revert back to some of the older ones, you can't do that. You can only roll forward. So if you want to set an older version or you want to use an older version of firmware, do that before you run this update or an update that's a version ahead of it because you can't go back. If you want to see how the Razer Viper was performing beforehand, go and check my other videos out. I'll put a link in the description, particularly 1.03 to understand the differences from my last firmware, where it was still having LOD issues or lift off distance issues. And you'll be able to compare to see if this one's actually made a difference. That's it, it's now updated. Now it's on version 1.03.02. Now you have to reboot your system, so let's reboot. So once you have firmware it, what you're going to need to do next is go into Synapsis, which you should have installed. This is the version 3 beta version here. You can go to your Viper Mini and you'll see all your general settings here to set all your profiles and use Hypershift. I've done a video on this as well if you want to check that out if you're not sure what that is. And your performance options are going to be the same. You've got lighting and calibration, which we know. And under calibration, we're not using any calibrated pad here. In the other previous firmwares, this has helped. So now we're going to test liftoff distance. We've got four DVDs. And just see whether this works. So at the moment, obviously, the cursor is moving here. You can see it over here. Put it on one DVD. You can see it's still detecting, which is a bit of a shame here. Put on two, TV, two DVDs here. Let's see if this makes a difference. Again, still detecting. You can see that. So let's see if there's any other options in here that we're missing. So there's no LOD option under any of these here. You can't seem to change it. You can change the DPI, obviously. So you have to create a new added surface. We'll have to pick one because this is obviously an MPC 450. This isn't a Razer's pad here. So let's go for the Vespala. You can see here it's got a liftoff range 1 to 10. You can see it's still working. We're going to move that into one DVD. Again, here it is still working. Let's try two DVDs and see if it's fixed it again. And you can see here, it still works in two DVDs. So this version hasn't seemed to have addressed this yet. Although we're being told it has, it's a bit of a shame here. So let me know in the comments whether you found a fix around this other than what we've already tried. I'll put a video link as well to a fix that we did using tape, which does help with the liftoff distance. But currently looking at this, unless we go through all these surfaces, which we shouldn't have to do, the liftoff range is still above one DVD. In fact, it's above two DVDs, which is still too high. Thanks for watching. Catch the next video. See you later. Bye bye.